What's up, YouTube? It's Matt Look here. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you a few of the main features of the new ScreenFlow 2.0 released by Telestream. So, I'm just going to show you the main features, of that, as I said, and uh, the one I use the most because uh, I experimented, experimented a few days with the new ScreenFlow. Uh, so, I'm just going to show you what I think of it and yeah, how basically you can use the new features. So, yeah, let's get right into it. First new feature, the main feature which I like a lot is the transitions, so 3D and 2D transitions. So as you see I've got an open screen flow project here. Uh, so basically it's really easy to add transitions. So I'm just gonna cut a clip here. And if you add two separate clips, as I got right now, um, you wanna add a transition between them, it's really easy. So just let me lower the volume so you can I can talk better. Uh, so basically if you have the two clips, just drag one clip over the other one and the transition icon will automatically appear there so basically uh... it's really easy to change the transition just click on the transition this little gear will appear in the corner and click on that one and then you can choose the transition here or just go and show transition inspector so basically in the inspector you can um, see all the previews of all the um, transitions so just hold your mouse on it leave your mouse on it it's automatically gonna see the transition happening so you can check that out so I'm just going to show you a quick transition here so just let me choose inner cube so I quite like the transitions uh, they're not like the standard ones you get with uh, Windows Movie Maker there are a few cool ones which uh, are quite original so um, let me just show you this one so as you see that was a little transition kind of a cube which I like a lot the transition are only on the clip you chose so basically uh, only for your eyesight so basically you can see in my transition uh, the only thing that moves is the um, the eyesight and not my wallpaper my wallpaper just stays there still and doesn't move so that's quite cool so you can add a transition for each part so you can also just continue talking and then have a transition in your wallpaper or something like that in your background so uh, yeah then you can also add an starting and ending transition so that's really easy just go to your first clip and right click it add starting transition and your last clip right click it uh, add ending transition so you can do that on both so again it's the same way to change it really easy uh, so you can also double click the transition icon to pop up the transition inspector if you want right away so you don't need to click on that little gear so you can just choose whatever transition you want so we're just going to choose spin for starting and let me choose um, melt for ending so right here we've got the transition so as you see that was a little spin there and for the end we've got it kind of melting down words uh, which I like so that's for the transitions ending and starting transition so I think that's quite a cool new feature uh, one of the main ones in the new screen flow 2.0. So let's just go to the second feature I want to show you is uh, exporting or publishing your video right on YouTube from screen flow. Once you're happy with your video you just made, you finished editing it and you think it's quite a good video and you want to publish it to YouTube, it's really easy, it's just two clicks away and you're right exporting to YouTube. So basically once you're done with your video just go to file, publish to YouTube and it will automatically ask you for a username and password you can also remember it to make it more easy for the next uh, exports um, of course so then you just sign, sign in and automatically gonna do the standard options when publishing to YouTube so category you can do a how to, how to, the title, the description, tags then you can choose if you want to make the video private or not and publish in HD which is obviously quite an important feature so you definitely want to check that uh, when exporting a video for me then uh, so that's really a cool feature really new feature it's really easy just click once you're done with everything you can just click public publish and it's automatically gonna add uh, that and what's also quite cool for the tags um, if you make if you have a, a video where you choose tags and then on the next video you export uh, a day later or something you can just put the first letter of the tag and it's automatically going to show you the tags you used in the past so uh, that's quite cool um, so that's for one little new feature of ScreenFlow 2.0 so let's get to the next one which is audio ducking so I wanna, what I'm going to show you right now 
So now for the audio docking feature. So obviously audio docking what it does, uh, when you start talking it lowers the volume of the background and when you stop talking that it's gonna hide the volume. So for example if you got a song in the background, uh, you're gonna uh, quite use that and it can be quite handy. So just let me show you what I got here. So basically I've got a clip of me talking here um, and you can see here I'm high, I'm talking, talking and then I stop talking, tongue talking and then I stop talking again. So basically it's super simple. Um, you just add your clip of music so just let me take some random song here. I've got around. So there you go. So once you add your song to your timeline here you want to go to your clip where you're talking and then to audio properties and you want to check the docking feature so here you can choose of how many percent it do uh, it's docking so basically if you have it at zero percent it's gonna remove all the song the whole song and if you have it zero a hundred percent it's not gonna do anything so uh, it's gonna you're gonna hear as much music as you want so basically I'm just gonna show you here at let's say 13 percent uh, something like that so I've got my song here so let me just shorten it uh, shorten the song so there you go so this is just a random song again it's probably not a good song uh, but it's just to show you a quick example so here we go blah 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 so as you see it hires the volume and lowers the volume uh, every time I talk so let me just show you a more clear example I'm gonna put docking at 0% and you clearly gonna see the difference So as you see, every time I make noise, uh, basically it's gonna dock the thing. I mean, dock the volume. So here I was talking, and then it starts the music again. I mean, I think you guys quite saw it. A uh, few examples there. So basically, that's for the audio docking, which I think is quite handy for people who use music in the background. Uh, I like that a lot. So let's go to the next feature, which is gonna be freeze frame and uh, how to accelerate your clip. So yeah.